Is anyone undefeated? Uh, no. Um, there's people that might be undefeated in one-on-one -on -one matches. Like, I think Ashley Mormon might. Maybe? Is she? I don't know. But yeah, uh, that the stream didn't crash. I rage quit. I was mad. The matches better not have changed. I'll be a little pissed off. Actually, I think the titles probably were set. Yeah, I gotta put the titles back on the line. You can absolutely clip that ending, I approve. <laughs> so, there's a weird thing with my TV remote right now. It's clicking. Can you guys hear that? I don't know why it's been clicking. It randomly clicks. I don't get it. Um. Hmm. It probably deleted one we already had. It deleted. Uh, it deleted Ashley Mannix versus uh, Sophia Balmer. That's the match it deleted. I don't know why, but good eye there, Brett. So, uh, Ashley never defended her title tonight, apparently, so uh, she'll have to defend it again. This kid. <sighs> okay. So, Q Money won, I guess. What's up already? How you doing, buddy? Your remote is tapped? What does that mean? Um, did it auto-correct and make me type male-ly? M-A-I-L. Not like the gender, but when you receive something in your mailbox. Alrighty. Best of luck to both women. 2FC is on the line. Maya Lee versus Nikita Ragehart.
can settle the score. No disqualification match. Win by pinfall or submission. But anything goes in this type of match as well. These superstars didn't want the rule book to restrict them. Sorry, he's had a sneezing fit. That cutter from the second rope, though. Look at Maya Lee go. Taking the fight to Nikita Rajar. Went for a lion's off. Didn't get it. And flatliner. All right. That was a great triple threat match we had, too, but uh, that ending was disgusting. <laughs> I think FJ Nation said uh, he's making a, a clip out of it. <laughs> I was going to try to stream some Fall Guys tonight. Um, I'm not sure I'm going to now. I think it. Well, maybe we'll see how how, how we're doing. <laughs> not sure who's who would be up for Fall Guys though. I mainly just want to do my dailies and stuff because uh, it's getting close to the end of the season. Look at this. Putting all that uh, pressure on the arms and the lower back of Maya Lee. Well, going for a cover here. That better not be it. Slender would play. Oh, I think she just went for a finisher, and Nikita Rajar countered. I think she did, because she just went for that big kick, and the cross body from Maya Lee. Leg is hooked here. Will that do it? Hey, Bimu Chan is 777. Damn, Brett's about to pass her. Once again, the pressure on the arms and lower back of Maya Lee. This time she just dropped her face first. Uh, yes, this is for 2FC, Brett. <laughs> Slim would play too. Well, maybe, um, maybe I should just get something to eat after this pay-per-view and, uh, and then pop on fall, guys. Oh, you sure you're feeling okay, Bimuchan? Gonna beat your bestie? That's not nice. Well, I'm glad you're feeling better, Bimuchan. <clears throat> Maya Lee just kind of suckered Nikita Raychard in, and she I feel like she's went for something big there. Not sure what she was going for, but... Rachar with a counter. Appreciate uh, Brett making the uh, the rings black, by the way, because it already makes my face light up like a flashlight on a white piece of paper. Yeah, eating will definitely help there, Bimu Chan. Well, she's went for that kick again, and once again, it did not quite compute against Maya Lee. Look at this. And dropping her gut first. Leg is hooked. And she... Oh, I thought she got her. I thought that was it. That was a long three. Maya Lee straight to the top. Well, went for a flying arm drag. Didn't get it. It's kind of crazy that Bimu Chen hasn't, hasn't even been on the roster for a full year yet. Those knee lifts to Rage Heart. Moonsault. Well, 
Miley. Look at this. And oh my god. That Phoenix splash. Maya Lee with the win. Very impressive win. Well, Nikita Rageheart wasn't playing that shit. She just laid the rough out. It's an impressive win for Maya Lee, though. All righty. Sandman one-on-one -on -one with Cluck. The winner will be the uh, interim number one contender for the United States Championship for the Royal Rumble. So best of luck to both people here, or the person and the chicken. Place your bets, folks. Well, Heisenberg came out of the gate swinging, but Sandman takes control. Cluck uh, felt like he's had one of the best years in FTU. Um, in the FTU roster, year 11 has been very kind to him, but the past month or so, not so much. Big arm breaker. I feel like half of Cluck's career in FTU, he's been World Heavyweight Champion. It's probably true, isn't it? Cluck wasn't on the roster too long before he won the world title, and he held it for a while.
There's no one betting on Sandman. There's still a little bit of time left to bet. It, oh my god. Dropping Sandman on his head. Sandman powers out though. and cluck on that top rope. Gizzard first. Do, do chickens have a gizzard? Or is that like lizards? Oh, cluck. Look at this, figure four. There's no uh, submission out here. Even if Sandman wanted to tap, it would do nothing. Well, turning it over. Oh, run for the cover. Sandman powering out. Well, Cluck is in firm control right now. And there's the the drumstick. The drumstick on Sandman. Now he's looking for the pecking order. The pecking order connects to Sandman. That'll do it. Leg is hooked. Cl oh, my God. I thought Cluck got him. Sandman kicks up. That move's been putting down everybody. Clock trying to stay on the Sandman. Look at this. And Hercule Ron. Oh my god, he countered. Sandman countered. Look at this. Oh my god, what a sequence. What a sequence there. That was awesome. Hit Clock. Trying to go low with that kick. Didn't get it. Hit clock with a counter. Oh, nice move there by Sandman. Yeah, this is for a potential title shot. That is correct, Brett. And DDT. Will that DDT do it? Planting him beak first. Ref needing to get in the position. And clock still kicks up. Well, Sandman looking to end this right now. Cluck in trouble. Look at this. He's got it by the wing. The Kimura lock. The Kimura lock on Cluck. Will he tap? And fighting out here. Up. Oh, nice back elbow. Handspring back elbow to Cluck. Now clock. Oh my god, what a clothesline. Pretty even match. And the drumstick again. That's it. That leg drop. Clock got off him. Going for another pin. I don't think it's going to get him now, is it? I think uh, Clock had some weird hesitation there. Well, he's going for the pecking order again. If this hits, it's over. Sandman needs to do something here. The pecking order gets countered. The pecking order gets dodged by Sandman. And look at this. Straight back to that arm. The Kamora lock again. The Kamora lock again to Cluck. Cluck's foot hit the rope, apparently. 
He may be out. He's too. He's still too close to the ropes, though. Sandman going up top. And, oh my God! One for a missile drop kick. Didn't get it. This is a great match. Well, way too far to drag him there. Sandman's going to kill the ref, though. And, oh my god, that move is so brutal. Going for the figure four? No, he's not. He bamboozled me. Hanging him on the top rope. Will that do it? A lot of damage has been done. That might be it right there. It, Sandman still kicks up. He's in a very bad spot for that leg drop, though. Or the pecking order. Or the pecking order. He bamboozled me again. What's he going for? It, oh, my God, he caught him. That double axe handle. He got a fist to the gut for it. Look at this. The DDT again. He counters it, though. Last second counter by Cluck. The pile driver. Will that do it? I'm, I feel like that's it. One, two. Cluck got him. What a match, though. All right, that was a uh, that was a crazy match. I really like that moonsault spot from uh, from Sandman. All righty, undisputed tag titles on the line now. Congrats to Cluck. Cluck uh, is most likely going to be. Well, actually, uh, Mannix also said he might be entering the fray for the U.S. title, so we'll we'll see what happens, but. But right now, Cluck is the interim number one contender for that championship. All righty. Cerberus challenging the Golden Hearts. Is this, uh, is this their first tag title shot? Or is this, this is their third, isn't it? Yeah, it's their third, right? So this has to end their rivalry? All right. So the Golden Hearts have defeated Cerberus twice. This is Cerberus's last shot, at least uh, for this part of the rivalry. Uh, someone else would need a challenge before Cerberus would be able to challenge again. So best of luck to both teams. Place your bets. This is tables, ladders, and chairs. The women killed it. So uh, the women killed it in this match. Had vengeance. Let's see what the men can do.
All right. Good night, Sam, man. Thanks for hanging out, buddy. I know you were staying up late to uh, see your match. Yeah, what's up, Saucy? How's it going, buddy? All righty. Undisputed tag titles on the line. Wait, why are they holding the titles? Uh, what's happening here? It's going good, Saucy. How you doing, buddy? Oh, the tag champ starting off strong. Again, this is the last match for the rivalry. Actually, even if the Golden Hearts lose, this rivalry is over. Knee to the face of Slim. Uh, saucy. Um, unless you veto it, um, your world title match here tonight has been turned into a Hell in a Cell match. Just heads up. You have the right to veto it, but. Uh, why is the ref telling Ray not to go outside? Oh, Ray with a ladder. Wait, why is there count out? What's happening here? What's happening? There's count out in this ladder match. I kind of didn't even really think about the fact that the ref was here, but... Down goes Ray Dunleavy. It definitely had to have happened uh, when this when the stream crashed earlier. 
Well, oh my god, he caught him. Electric chair drop. I didn't really think about the fact that the ref was here, which is funny because earlier uh, in the women's tag match, I mentioned that the ref has an easy call because they don't do anything, but now they're like, oh, did you think our job was easy? Well, we'll call this match then. I wonder if pinfalls count then, too. Whatever happens, happens, though. Like, this is... We're not uh, messing with fate here. <laughs> well... <laughs> I do feel bad, though, because uh, Monk has mentioned that they kind of keep getting screwed over, but, I mean... I mean, I'm not doing it. It's... Well, oh my god, the tag champs now. Electric chair on Slim. Well, actually, if, what if they get counted out? That wouldn't be cool at all. Because they actually have physics that keep them down. That would be a very big problem. I wouldn't be cool with that. If this win ends via count up, that'd be a very big problem for me. And, oh my god! A jumping shot on the table. Well, and there is pinfall! There is pinfall! One! Two! And oh my god, he kicked up! What a bizarre match. Is the stream going to crash with this match because it's all broken? You could win this match however you want, Brett. <laughs> well, you could win this by pinfall, submission, disqualification. No, not disqualification. Count out. Um, retrieving the championships. You could also win it by escaping the cage or, um, or touching all four corners. <laughs> Or you win it by bloodshed. <laughs> well, that clothesline on Jesse Hardake. Oh, actually, Cheese is already bleeding. Turn around, ref. There's a pinfall. That clothesline on Jesse Hardake. He got him. Cerberus are the new tag champions. Well, that was a match that technically was originally going to be a tornado tag anyway. So an ending by pinfall isn't the end of the world. Uh, us turning into a ladder match and it's still winning by pinfall is a bit weird, but... But Cerberus is the new tag champs. But yeah, that ref definitely was there because I was talking shit earlier in, during the women's match. That's actually hella funny. That was... Um, I mentioned during the women's TLC ladder match that uh, the ref doesn't have a job. <laughs> so in this one, he's like, oh, fuck you, I'll come out and work. Um, anyway, yes, Cerberus are the new tag team champions. 
all three of their tag matches had something weird happen, so I kind of feel bad but about that whole rivalry, but it is done, so uh, the Golden Hearts are going to have to wait in line for, uh, even, even though they did just lose them, that was the third in the rivalry, we're not going to keep it going beyond that. Um, after someone else challenges, they are welcome to start a new rivalry with them, but that's only if, you know, only if it comes to that, but... We need a, at least a little break in the chain. All righty. Curtis Stunt, the number one contender for the United States Championship. One-on-one -on -one with Josh Evans. Josh Evans has been doing amazing. Is this his, like, fourth or fifth title defense? I think he defended it against uh, Thomas Paine, BGS. I think he def defended it against Gabriel Lovecraft, Declan Mannix. He's been doing great. One on one though with uh, Curtis Stunt. Curtis Stunt, I feel like is one of the more unpredictable people because we haven't really seen exactly what he could do in a one on one competition on a big stage. This is the biggest match of Curtis Stunt's career so far. United States Championship on the line. Place your bets, folks. Introducing the challenger from Aberdeen, Scotland, weighing in at 230 
91 pounds, Curtis Stone. And introducing the champion from Cleveland, Ohio, weighing in at 185 pounds, he is the United States Champion, Josh. All right, here we go. United States Championship on the line. Josh Evans, such a solid United States champion. The betting has been closed for this match, and somehow people still underestimating Josh Evans, in my opinion. <laughs> Only 9% of the betting was for Josh Evans. Biggest opportunity of Curtis Stunt's career, though. And, oh, my God, what a Pele kick. Evans going up top. Probably too early for that. Oh, maybe not. Look at Evans. Oh, my God, big DDT. Evans quick with that high risk. Was stomping on that arm repeatedly. Heard a stunt. Trying to get a window to get some damage in. Look at Slim go. Look at this. And German suplex. Nope. Bamboozled, dropped on his head. Well, this is not at all going the way Curtis Stun wants it to go. Gets a counter in, but he needs to follow up with some offense before Josh does exactly this. Another counter from Stun. Thanks, Brett. Because you're talking about Slim. And also, I'm thinking about Slim. <laughs> All the submission hold. Look at Evans. Or Slim, as Brett calls him. Well, I think he was going to go for some high risk, but Stunton was very quick to get back up. Jesus, Stunt's taking all kinds of damage. This is not going well for Stunt. Up, oh, nice counter there. That's what he needs. Knee to the face. Look at this. Look at this. Implant DDT. Oh, my God. He went for that rocket kick. Didn't get it. Could that be the window? No. <laughs> Immediately gets countered again. Josh Evans is a beast. It, oh my god, big shot. Slap to stagger the champion. Do you think Josh and JJ are cousins? Or brothers? Oh my god, he went for the clothesline, but Evans counters. I think that was the biggest shot that stunt had. And it just got countered. Here it comes. That knockout kick to the side of the head of Curtis Stunt. That's it. I feel like he's out. Evans looking for more damage. Is that necessary? He wants it twice. That knockout kick again to stunt. What is he doing? Not going for the cover still. Oh, 
Has there been pinfalls? Well, shooting star. Well, he got the knees up. Has there been pinfalls in this match? What if the pinfall feature from this match actually got dragged to the other match? Well, there's the clothesline to Evans. He's not going for the cover. They can't pin each other. There's no way to win this. The pinfall and submission. We have to back out. They, they can't win this. Well, I'm going to actually feel bad if Stunt wins it now. Then again, we don't know. We don't know what, what exactly would have happened, but I feel like Evans was dominating this. We need to actually change the match type or something. We can just, uh... Nice, you got the lantern shield. What's that sell for, P-Wolf? Okay, we gotta try this again. That's awesome, P-Wolf. Congrats, buddy. I wonder if I should actually remake these, too. I might as well. Stream's gonna crash again. Uh, did Saucy say he was okay with Hell in a Cell, by the way? I asked that little Aussie earlier, but... Oh, uh, damn it. I left entrances on. Damn it. Oh, well. I'll skip him. What levels your warrior, P-Wolf? I do wish I, I had more time to play 11, but I mean... I definitely got to keep my streams going and stuff. Keep my FTU going. And uh, I do want to stay up on Fall Guys, too, before that season ends. God, what a weird glitch. Slim doesn't even know how he won that ladder match, does he? Right, take two. Or a Karana. Well, Evan started off pretty similar to how he started off the last match. Um, actually, P-Wolf, that's actually a good idea. There's a new goblin who will warp you places, dude. And Juno. 
Well, shooting star, but Stun got the knees up. Yeah, lower Juno. Um, I don't know if you need to be a certain level or what. No, not back to Sandy. But he'll he'll warp you to the outpost in West Ronfar. Pele kicked a stunt. Did I cut her someone again from the top of the ladder? Not exactly, Slim. Uh, maybe he's just doing outpost warps, P-Wolf. It, it didn't quite look like it to me, but maybe that is what it is. Yeah, I haven't been on yet today, P-Wolf. Well, that rolling shot, the stunt... Yay, a pinfall. That was actually a lot closer than I thought it'd be. A little bad for Stunt, though, too. This is like the biggest match of his career so far, and it just uh, got glitched a little bit. But I think Evans just went for a finisher. Nice counter from Evans. Look at this big back suplex. I had a sneezing fit while uh, Stunt just hit that big clothesline. Will that do it? Will that do it? Oh, my God, he kicked up. And implant DDT, will that do it? Hooking the leg again. He got him. Curtis Stunt got him. Hey, uh, people, what, what, uh, what's Durfland again? All righty. Congrats to Curtis Stunt winning uh, the United States Championship, which a lot of people have been gunning for. I'd like to double check that uh, the title's actually still on the line since he wasn't holding it just now. Oh, Pasha, okay. <clears throat> All righty. We know Slim and Midori are in the finals for the Mixed Tag Tournament. Place your bets here. Johnson and Suzuki, of course, uh, represent Ignition, but due to an open spot on the Adrenaline Bracket, they were able to qualify by defeating Kraft and Asuka. Uh, Asuka. I'm going to call her Asuka. Asuka. But um, they did, of course, advance, getting a, getting a big opportunity. Beat those what? What did you just say, say Slim? 
All right, best of luck to both teams. The winners will face Slim and Midori at the Royal Rumble.
All right, here we go. The bullpen dojo going head to head. Declan Mannix and Lee Johnson starting off. Again, this is the semifinals for the mixed tag tournament. The men will fight the men, the women will fight the women. And Vat Suplex is launching Johnson. Oh, he caught him. Look at this hammerlock vertical suplex. And tagging in the women. Mason Suzuki and Queen Ashley Mannix. It went for a big kick, didn't get it. Quick shots to Mason. Look at this. And oh my god. Dropping her face first with that suplex. A counter from the queen. Look at this. Those close quarter punches to the face of Mason Suzuki. Completely unblocked, by the way. I'm not sure what that's about. Ashley <laughs> Maddox setting up Mason here. <laughs> oh, a kick to the face. Taking the men back in. Look at this. The Northern Light Suplex float over. The strength of Lee Johnson. Well, that was weird. Look at this. Submission hold, but Johnson got the rope pretty quick. Tagging in Queen Ashley Mannix. Ashley Mannix has been an absolute insane competitor in FTU the past couple months. Pretty scary thought to think she will be in the Women's Royal Rumble for the first time next month. For the first time in her career. Hanging Johnson on the top rope. And oh my god, what a spear. How quick was he to hit that spear? Manix right back up. And Johnson caught him. Manix ran right into that. Look at this. Going for a submission hold, but I think Manix is too close to the ropes. He is. Johnson staying on the chaos clown. Well, I think he just went for the finisher. And Manix countered. Counter for counter between these two. Uh, don't do that. Don't do that. She tagged herself in. I know what just happened there. I was actually worried Mannix was going to hit Mason.
I think uh, her tagging herself in kind of stopped that, but that big stomp on Mannix. Oh my god, how close was that? It's weird when the people kick out of that, because you don't actually see, the, see their shoulder come off the mat. Well, Johnson and Suzuki in the driver's seat right now. Well, Maddox has gone for the flying butt pliers twice, and Johnson uh, avoiding it each time. Tagging the woman back in. Ashley Mannix is still hurt outside, though. Yep, recovered. Perfect timing, though. Mason still countered. Look at this. Reverse DDT on the floor. That's actually a pretty awesome shot there of them both taunting it. Ashley was taunting at uh, Mason and Mason was taunting towards the, the audience. Look at this. High angle slam. Mannix needs to keep his distance from Mason. We do not want this to end in a disqualification. Look at this. Face first on the barricade. We don't want this to end off count out though either. And face buster. I feel like Ashley was doing so well in the beginning, but Mason's really taking control here of the queen of the ring. Mason for setting that count multiple times. Oh my god, look at this. Oh my god. It Jesus. The impact on the floor. Oh my god. Mason is brutalizing Ashley Mannix. Swinging neck breaker. Oh, that slap to the face. And she's so getting back into this. The refs at a six count, though. These these women need to get back in the ring. Which Ashley happy to do. Clawing at the face of Suzuki and tagging into Chaos Clown. Look at this. That double under pile driver. Planting Mannix. Will that do it? Leg is hooked. One, two, and Mannix kicks up. Ashley did not break that up. Well, he's going for that submission hold. Mannix is in trouble. Mannix is in trouble. Ashley needs to help him here. It, uh, he's still in the submission. Mannix is in trouble here. Well, that was interesting. He was in that submission for a very long time. It almost looked like Mason should have broke that submission up. I'm not sure, Mannix. I, actually, I might have missed that. Well, that's a mission hold on Bully. I don't think he can reach the rope this time, can he? He can't. Will he tap? Wow. 
The Bull. Fighting out. What a tag match. Oh, look at this. Declan and Ashley. Declan and Ashley. And, oh my god, they both got caught. They both got countered. Mason with the cover. She, oh my god, she kicked up. They both went for a big kick, but they didn't get it. Well, going for the cover here on Mason. Will that do it? Powering out at one. Ashy Mannix, look at this. She's got her up. And back down. Leg is hooked. And Mason Suzuki still kicks up. Well, not sure. I think she was going for that submission, actually, but Mason with a big counter. Ashley Mannix in trouble here. Look at this. Pop-up powerbomb. Drilling the queen. One. Well, Declan Mannix breaking up the pinfall. Mason set up the queen again. She's got her by the throat again. She's got her by the throat. Pinfall. One. Two. Two. Oh my god, she kicked up. I'm not sure why Declan didn't break that pinfall up. I'm, I'm, I'm at a loss for words for Ashley kicking up after that. Oh, nice counter there. Oh my god. Those strikes just knocking Declan down. Oh, big leg drop. That was actually very well placed. Those cards on the boot are pretty awesome there, Mannix. Well, Johnson's been busted open now by the Chaos Clown. Looking for the punchline. The punchline on Johnson. And down he goes. Hooking the leg. Mason's going to need to save her partner. One. Two. He got him. All right. Congrats to Declan and Ashley for making it to the finals. That was a great match. Um, I was kind of like a, I kind of disappointed by the ending because Mason was just standing on the apron, which that's exactly why, by the way, I'm trying to move away from tag matches. I mean, for the, this this whole tournament's been great, other than that. But um, well, I mean, also the the DQ we had in the first round. But um, but yeah, that, that's why I'm trying to move to tornado when we can. I mean, you can't do any sort of you know, different ruled mixed mixed gender tag match other than the standard tag format. But um but I, I I'm kind of disappointed to see it end when, you know, the partner was on the apron and just kind of standing there. But that was a great match. Alrighty. Moving along to the main event. And I don't think anyone said Saucy declined the Hell in a Cell, right? Probably missed it when if someone said anything, but alrighty. At Survivor Series, I'm sorry. Let's go back even further. 
at Crown Jewel, Slender became the king of the ring, which uh, gave him the opportunity to compete for two world championships in Survivor Series. He won both. He won the the World Heavyweight Championship. He won the FTU Championship. The, the World Heavyweight Championship has been retired. Slender will go down in history as being the final World Heavyweight Champion. He won two world titles in the same night. And uh, the following night ended with him having neither one due to Saucy cashing in his Money in the Bank briefcase he won earlier this year. Saucy targeting the... Uh, we only have one world champion... And the FTU today, Saucy, deciding the time was right to cash in, and he walked away with the with the FTU World Championship. Slender getting his rematch, and it will be inside Hell in a Cell. So best of luck to both competitors here. I did uh, reset the match too, so uh, we should have pinfalls and submission here. No disqualification, no count out. Best of luck.
Baker in the corner. Looking more determined than I've ever seen. This right here is a championship that gained a lot of prestige in short order, guys. Yeah, I mean, once the title match is called by yours truly, you know it finally matters in our industry. All right, here we go. King Slender starting off strong against Saucy. By the way, I hope uh, Slender's fine with me picking that attire for him. I kind of dawned on me. I didn't really ask him which one he wanted. But, like, he probably wants his crown. Oh, Slender already going for a weapon here. Steel chair. Well, that was interesting. Interesting that it still worked for Slender. And it's nice that FTU isn't blurred out this time. Well, nice counter there. Whiplash on the neck of Slender. Oh, Saucy with a steel chair now. Oh my god. The back of the head again. Saucy just... Oh my god, what a kick. Saucy landed on the chair too. Well... Dropping him face first on that top rope. Slender with a steel chair now. Look at this. Saucy going low with that kick. Oh, oh my god. That steel chair again to Slender. This is going to be over very quick if he gets more of those shots in. A lot of damage has already been done. That was interesting. Using the referee, Saucy counters. Well, Saucy with a submission on King Slender. Well, Slender fights out. Oh, well, big neck breaker there. Slender's, uh... Not been the right frame of mind lately, but that steel chair will help his cause. That steel chair has been bent to hell. Ow! He just landed on the chair, too. Alrighty. Appreciate you, Brett. Oh, dumping the challenger to the outside. Dumping him right back in for some reason. Oh, look at this German suplex. Well, it's very unfortunate to see uh, Slender in the situation since he was doing so well in his career, but. I think Saucy has control of this, and Slender still kicks up. Saucy bided his time and cashed in when there was only one world title, so he could be the man. And elbow drop does not connect. Slender with the counter. This could be his window. Well, Saucy still staying on him. And Snake Eyes. Look at this, North Light suplex. Punches to the face. <laughs> that moonsault, will that do it? One, two, 
And Slender kicks up again. Well, Saucy, that's a mission hold. I think he's I think he's done. I think Slender's gonna have to tap here. Slender hanging on, but Slender fighting out. Slender fighting out. Look at this. Dropping him down. Face first. Slender going for the spear. Slender going for the spear. The spirit connects to Saucy. Leg is hooked. Do we have a new world champion? One, two. Oh my God, Saucy kicked up. Saucy kicks up out of the spear. Well, I think he might be going for a submission, that educator, but Saucy, it's Saucy's turn. He went for the gift from the gods. Slender countered. Slender countered the gift from the gods just now. 100%. He, he just went for it. That was actually the move that won him the world title on ignition a few weeks ago. Slender wants another spear. Slender wants another spear. And he, ca he got him. He got him. That's two spears. Leg is hooked. One. Two. He got him. Slender got him. All righty, pretty uh, feel-good moment for Slender. Recovering his World Heavyweight Championship in a match where the odds were pretty stacked against him. His, his stats were a lot lower than Saucy. Not a lot lower, a bit lower. It does go to show, though, that you still can get the dub, even with uh, low overalls. What's up, Alice? How you been doing, buddy? So, um, people that wish to spend FC, please let me know. Um... I do have it noted that Bully does want to challenge Slender. Uh, Thomas Payne does want to challenge Slender. And um, Amaya and Dream want to challenge the women's tag team champions. How's work going, buddy? Let's look at the news, huh? Slender's the FTU champion. Cheese and Slim, now the tag champs. Rage Hart and Lee are rivals now. After Rage Hart laid down that referee with a right hand. Skyla, the women's hardcore champion. It's fast. Hmm. Is that a good thing or a bad thing, Alice? Let's look at the power rankings. Saucy's number one. I think it needs. I think it hasn't updated yet, though. So Saucy was rolling then. Stunt, Ashley Mannix, Jordan Grace, Vincent Green. The women's still taking over the show, though. 
Surprised to see Vincent Green up as high. And Q Money, that's how he got that victory from the, the karate kick counter earlier. <laughs> we'll hope you get to go soon, soon Atlas. All right, yeah, again, please let me know on Discord in the Spending FC channel if you're actually intending to spend FC to challenge for a championship at the Royal Rumble. Um, I'll do my best to accommodate what I can. I do want... Um, I would like everything other than the hardcore titles to be defended at the Rumble. Maybe even the hardcore titles, but um, actually we don't even have enough room for that because we have 12 championships. So, uh, yeah, we'll need to figure some stuff out. The Royal Rumble is going to be a great pay-per-view, though. Find something gang related or drug related, you have to report it. What'd you have to report, Atlas? <laughs> Thanks, FJ Nation. You had a lot of fun tonight. Um, uh, are people still down for Fall Guys or is it too late now? I kind of wanted to go get some food, but I looked at the parking outside. There, it's like packed. If I if I leave for five seconds, I'm not gonna get a parking spot. And I think I do need to order something because all I have is a couple like small like mini meals in my freezer, like unless I want to kill a couple of those. I think I have to order something. It's expensive, though. All righty. Well, the next FTU stream, actually, we'll probably do a very quick one to kind of um, sim through the calendar before the Royal Rumble. Um, What the hell? It's bleeping out all the Royal Rumble. I mean, the F2 things. I don't know, I was just putting the show on there, but I mean just the uh just the arena. Okay. Well, that is gonna be it for the FTU portion for those that this wanted to be in this part. Thanks for being here. But, um, again, let me know if you're spending FC for the Royal Rumble as soon as possible, because uh, I'm, I'm going to start setting rivalries um, and deleting some of those other ones um, to make room. But um, I'm assuming we're going to have a lot of, I mean, probably a full, like, eight rivalries or maybe even 12 if we include Warzone. But, um, yeah, I think we're going to hop over to Fall Guys for a little bit. People want to hang out. Um, I think I need to order some food. What sort of food should I order? What's cheap to order? <laughs> Meanwhile, P. Wolf's like, are you going to play Final Fantasy XI or not? P. Wolf's been asking me to play Final Fantasy XI with him for days, and I haven't been able to play because I've been hella busy. But I do need to get my dailies done on Fall Guys anyway. There's Deltaco. I mean, Deltaco. 
don't know. Even pizza is expensive, though. Like, like how much would it cost to order like Domino's right now? Which Domino's is like the cheapest delivery. Fried pickles and bananas. <clears throat> well, all right. Taco Bell. They be bussing. Wait. McDonald's and Taco Bell are usually pretty decent on pricing. Oh, interesting. Taco Bell over here is pretty expensive. Um, I'm talking like like over two dollars for a, a normal taco. Let's see. The Little Caesars. <laughs> you guys trying to trick me into saying things? That's not nice. Gee, like, even it's like... From Domino's. Like, Domino's pizza is, like, trash, let's be honest. But a large for delivery is $22. I don't have that much money. Well, I mean, I have $22, but not for dinner. Actually, this will probably be better. Let's try this. Pepperoni. <clears throat> Domino's is currently number one in pizza chain sales. Well, that's actually kind of surprising. Did that come from like the Domino's webpage or something though? <laughs> You know what actually sounds good right now is Papa Murphy's, but uh, they close hell early. <laughs> Jesus. Hmm. Interesting. One large pizza is the same price as two mediums. Well, that makes me feel a little bit better about it. Because at least then I can have some like tomorrow or something. No stupid.
Well, I think this is going to have to do. Okay, I ordered something. That's pretty crazy, P Wolf. <clears throat> 17 billion sales, especially considering, you know, they make Domino's pizza out of like cardboard. Um, <clears throat> I don't like that it doesn't confirm my address on this confirmation screen. Because now I'm like, I didn't order this to my work or something, right? Mm. Oh, I got it right. Okay. All right, who's ready for some Fall Guys? Pizza stream. <laughs> Brett added the Domino's Pizza cardboard thing. Better not be a hooker. We've been over this. All righty. Well, we're hopping over there. Hope to see you guys over there. If not, have a good night. But, uh, Let's get some crowns, huh? Get some crowns. Get, get, get some crowns. <laughs> 